Don't worry, we've come up with a system, Orin Maxton. We've got a system. I have no idea if it would run on anybody's computer. There's one way to find out. I would actually just Google your exact either CPU or GPU, whatever you're concerned about, and then append star... C your CPU, the word star citizen, and then Reddit, and then see what people say. All right, we're about 12K up, so let's level out. And we will reach our cruising speed. God, I'm 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 ready for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I'll actually have a reason to bust out my uh, Warthog, Thrustmaster Warthog. I'm thinking about buying some some Hosas dual stick for this. I don't want to do it for stream. I'm I'm pretty comfy with mouse and keyboard right now. So, if I get sticks, it'll be, like, once I'm sort of done streaming Star Citizen for a while. What about head tracking? Yeah, head tracking would be cool. I take it no new ship acquired today. Well, sit back and watch, Brian. Sit back and watch. Where do you think we're going now? By the way, I missed a couple of gifts, like subs, two hours ago. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing two hours ago, but Soviet Winter, thank you for the gift sub to Divine Nev. Divine Nev. I appreciate the gift sub. And Crimery, thank you for the brand new Prime as well. My bad. Does water exist? Yes. They actually just added water physics for the ship's thrusters. So if you low fly over water, it actually like. <sighs> However, I don't think that there's like good or proper, say, swimming or I don't, I don't think the water is there for anything other than, oh, there's water. You know what I mean? There's no like Minecraft fish under there. <laughs> I don't even know if you can swim. But they did add like a whole the, the water does, like, ripple and wave when, depending on the size of the thrusters, if you get close to it, it'll, like, physics bounce. Question, Chad, am I going the wrong way? Is that not Lorville this way? I might be going the wrong way slightly. Because I see those lights through the clouds. which has right there those little lights I think you can walk underwater in a full suit well I mean if a suit can can insulate you from vacuum it could insulate you from water and it's pretty heavy you know I bet this suit is really heavy <laughs> visuals first functionality second that is kind of how it works though you know You've got to have all of the technology before you can make it functional. Like, you couldn't make water gameplay before you're done adding engine tech to the water. I don't even know if there would be water gameplay. Now we're going the right way. I've flown this route like three or four times. You gotta trust me. What does the exclamation mean? It means we're trespassing. So the Grey Cat Stanton Production Complex B, where we were doing our missions, have a 90 kilometer radius of trespassing zone around them. So we're technically trespassing, though our missions did not result in us getting a criminal stat. So we're about halfway to Lorville right now. Boats are pro- Oh yeah, I did see the Squadron 42 boats. Uh, we're not going to watch the Squadron 42 video, but I will at least show you that. Since we are talking about it. 
the single player game that they're making. That is should be everyone sort of expecting it to be done next year. Chat, we should watch I Held the Line in full at some point because I haven't even watched it. I don't know when you when we, when it would be a good time to watch it. All right, let me move so we don't get AFK kicked. All right, check this out. Oh, I'm turning. Chat, I can't alt-tab whilst I'm turning, bro. <laughs> okay, I want to say we were going this way. Like 140-something. Hold on. Efficient strike teams. So we can focus on This is a single player game. Squadron 42, not the persistent universe that we're playing now. Individual areas to deliver the best experience. Get out of sight. The cutlass is gonna spot you. This allows us to bring all disciplines together with a unified vision of enhancing the gameplay by seamlessly blending it with polished visuals, final cinematic performances, and our ever-improving technology. You didn't see the boat, kid. You're good to keep going. Boats. We're also dialing in gameplay features, such as the ship flight model, for both atmosphere and space. This is not boats. That's not boats. But yeah, they do have boats. We have boats on the in the water and boats in the sky. Okay, let's keep going this way. Toward the light. Go toward the light. I need to watch that whole video. I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen that one part like three times. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably do it at the, in, in during one of these upcoming streams. How old is that video? Pretty recent, right? Eight months ago? Yeah, it's about eight months ago. And it's like 26 minutes. The whole featurette. I'm really excited for the single player game. I, I hope that they knock it out of the park. They need a win. Like, obviously you could say they're making so much money they've already won, which is fair enough. But, um... I think I'm just saying from a PR standpoint, I think they need, <laughs> if they release a good game, they will generate a lot of goodwill for the persistent universe. If it's a bad game, it's going to have the inverse effect. Like if, it, if Squadron 42 comes out and people are like, this sucks and it doesn't work. Good luck. It's going to be tough out there. I'm worried it can't live up to the hype. Here's the thing. I think the only people whose hype it can't live up to are Star Citizen nerds. They just need to make a game that is good for everyone else, in my opinion. Like, I don't have any hype for it because I don't know anything about it, which is what is true for the majority of people. Like, most people don't even know. This is kind of one of the problems. The general public doesn't know that Squadron 42 exists. All they know is one time Mark Hamill got paid a bunch of money to go voice act and they have no idea why. They just know that that happened. Presumably for Star Citizen. <laughs> but there's not a distinction in the general consent, like the general uh, consciousness, the zeitgeist between the two different games. Right? Before I even started playing this, I didn't know there were two games. I didn't know there was a single player game. 
So their marketing is already sort of like... Obviously, they haven't even started the real marketing push. Like, they have the trailers for, like, the super fans to see how progress is going. In my mind, it's just a single-player story mode of Star Citizen. I'd say regular Star Citizen doesn't get marketing. They market the hell out of it on YouTube. It's possible that you may not see it because of ad blockers. <laughs> but uh, whenever they did 3.23, every single YouTube video I clicked on was like a Star Citizen ad. So every time they do a new big patch, they do a big YouTube ad push. But yeah. They definitely could market it more. They haven't started marketing Squadron 42 at all. Once you start seeing more trailers for that, then you'll know it's close. All right, speaking of close, we are getting close. I'm gonna start heading down. Just worried I'm gonna bump into that one dude. Yeah, we know it's more than Mark Hamill. We were talking about this the other day. I'm just, you're cherry picking. I'm cherry picking. The person everyone knows. A lot of people also think Star Citizens is straight up scam. Oh, sure, yeah. Well, that's why I say, right? Like, if the single player game exists and it comes out and it releases and it's done, then they change that perception a lot. Because they basically they'll have something and be like, look, this is what we spent our money on. <laughs> You were wondering where all the money went. Here's where it went. So, like, it has to be good. And if it's not good, then they're going to have to deal with that. I'm going to play it. Like, I'm going to stream it. So you'll know if it's good or not. When that comes out. I just realized there won't be nearly as much cozy chat time once you get the cutter. Well, you'll just have to wait for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 then. Chat, I don't know what I'm flying toward actually. What is that? Oh, no, this is Lorville. We're just kind of on a weird angle. I was flying the right direction before. I just got confused. I think I've been flying the wrong direction for longer. <laughs> I should have been doing some scams. It's like through the clouds over here. Oops. Is there even a... G we don't need a gate. We just need to get into Lorville's, like, zone of control. Like, I, I see the big pyramid to my right. I think we're on the wrong side of it. We may have flown for a few extra minutes more than we needed. Possibly. Was it Star Citizen or Eve that was making the FPS game where it took place in the actual game? What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, Eve. Eve did that. Where it, where it was like also an MMO, like Planet Side, Dust. What happened to Dust? What actually did happen to Dust? Oh, that was PS3 exclusive? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. I mean, it was a cool idea for a game. I'll give him that. 
All right, do you think I can like axe? I don't know where I am, bro. I mean, I know I know that Lorville's here, but I, I flew the wrong way for a bit on accident, and now we're on the wrong side of Lorville. I think we want to be on the other side of that tower. <laughs> I wonder if I can just land out here. Actually, no, no, no. What if we go to that ship? That's a gate. Where that ship is right there, it's a gate. That's a Carrick. Pick an, maybe maybe they stopped over to pick up a ground vehicle. How has it been 12 hours already today? Dear God. Dear God. Are there, are there, is anybody still awake in the chat? It's 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Chat, chat's pretty active right now, considering the hour. Considering the time of day. Alright, let's start slowing down. Get the landing gear down. We don't have to ask for landing. So this is how we get around exploding when we enter the hangar. We land outside one of the gates. It's 5 a.m. LMAO. 10 a.m. 4 a.m. I've fallen asleep twice, but I'm still here. You know what? This is a cozy section to nap to, probably, because we've just been flying through the clouds. That's a big ship over there. The Carrick was cool. I, I enjoyed the rides that we got on the Carricks. We've landed. Now we just have to get out without the ship flipping upside down. <laughs> uh, easier said than done. Dust was released on the PS3 when the PS4 released, and it was supposed to have a ton of people on the map. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. The exclusivity was a big mistake, for sure. Yeah, yup time streamers are good for people who never get to watch because they're asleep. The trick is I have to make it through that, like... That golden hour of like midnight to two, because you guys really start coming into your own, like two and three and four and five in the EU and beyond. Okay, we have to open both doors. The engines are off. Please don't flip over or explode. Please don't flip over or explode. It listened. It listened. It knows it's going to be replaced. Okay, <clears throat> now we just save the cargo, go to our vehicle storage. Go to our vehicle storage and then simply move all to Lorville. Boop. Uh, the leg armor survived the trip. Actually kind of impressed by that. Just didn't even jostle around. Um... Yeah, I didn't... Who did... <sighs> Are you good, bro? Why is there a hole in the back door? <laughs> we do have a problem, though. Which is the cargo that's in the SCU containers... <laughs> ...can't be moved out. <laughs> Which means I'm gonna have to land with it. Can't move the box into local chat. It's stuck on the cargo grid. I'm in armistice. I can't tractor beam. You cannot highlight the boxes without being able to use your tractor beam, and you can't use your tractor beam. Unless you're in a hangar, and you can't get in a hangar. Unless you don't explode.
Go on the pilot seat and Alt F. Bro, you gotta tell me what it does. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not just gonna trust like a random person that goes in chat and is like, okay, go sit in the pilot seat and hold backspace. It'll fix your problem. There's not even a command for Alt F in the cockpit. He's asking you to unlock ports. Unlock ports is Alt K. Right Alt plus K is port lock. Well, let's do this. Since, uh, you know, we don't want to lose this armor either. Just in case. Oh, you mean like that menu. Well, anyway, I already know the shortcut for that. So you could just say you could try unlocking your ports. And then I'd be like, all right. I have literally never even gone through this menu. <laughs> I didn't even know this was here, dude. Anyway, they're unlocked now. I guess that's good to know. Okay, I have to open all the doors. Oh boy, open, no, I said open all the doors? I'm sorry, close all the doors. There is a sim raid. <laughs> What's up, Sim? How's it going, Crafton, Periapsis, Foreign Bob, Bib Rofi, or Bib Ruffy? Custard is massive. Hi, dog and friends. How's it going, Sim? We're trying to do some Star Citizen troubleshooting. Which is, you know, called, we, some people call it playing. Uh, to the chatter who suggested that you still can't move them into local. Welcome, friends. Hey, Ambrosia. We are we are in the world of Star Citizen, also lovingly called Bug Citizen. I've been kind of addicted to this game, as you can tell from the title. This being day ten in a row of playing it, and it's two a.m. When when Sim is raiding you, you know you should probably be asleep by now, or at least eating dinner, which is definitely the case for me. But thanks for the raid, dude. How you doing? How was the stream? Hope things have been well for you. Playing some retro? Does that mean what I think it means? Does that mean roller coaster tycoon or something else? We are we are well in deep degen status. Chat, if you haven't already followed Sim or caught him on one of our raids over to his channel in the past, you can catch him when he next goes live. Hit that follow button at the top of the chat. Awesome dude. Um, you will feel right at home over in his channel. Loves talking to the community and actually treats them with love, kindness, and respect. So if you want, you know, a different vibe from what you get here. <laughs> Check him out. Life's been shitty lately, but Rollercoaster Tycoon and chat are fun. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm sorry to hear the first part. Happy to hear the second part. <laughs> Oh, I hope things look up for you soon, dude. I don't know what's going on, but I hope it gets better. You just gotta you just gotta hang on and you'll see the sun peeking through the clouds soon enough. But yeah, we've been doing Star Citizen Grind. You can we've been live for like twelve hours. <sighs> we actually just got back, so this gate right here, we can we can run inside there and get to the rest of the city. Um, I've been doing a challenge in Star Citizen, because I'm pretty addicted to it. I'm doing a Zero to Hero challenge. Every player who buys Star Citizen has a ship. I am, I am basically playing as if I don't have a ship. So I started with zero credits, uh, like no money, no gear, no ship, and tried to see what that was, what that experience was like in this multiplayer, borderline MMO sandbox with like 100 player servers. So I've been, I've been talking to people hitchhiking with them, catching a ride across 
um, the Stanton system, the star system that we're in. I've been getting people to like drop me off, help me out here and there. And then I <clears throat> scrounged and saved enough in-game credits to buy a little golf cart. And I was selling people's trash that they were dropping on the ground for scraps. It's been a long process. And we're actually approaching the beginning of the next phase of this challenge where I should have enough money here shortly to buy my first ship that has the ability to travel between uh, planetary bodies. So, so far I've gone from literally nothing, selling literal trash, to a small golf cart, to a rock mining wheeled vehicle, to what you see before you, which is possibly the worst ship in the game. It has no ability to quantum. It's made for very short flights, terrible fuel. The handling is garbage. Uh, it has no guns. It's a flying coffin, and it's killed us a bunch of times through various bugs. And now we're getting ready to buy our first real ship. <laughs> but to do that, we have to figure out how to get stuff out of these boxes in the back of the ship. And because this is Star Citizen, what is something that should be the stuff is over here and I move it over here. The stuff is actually invisible and I can't get it over there. So this, every time you do something in Star Citizen, uh, when it detects that you're having fun, it automatically fires off a bug in the code, usually. And then you have to troubleshoot how to fix that bug. So now we have to fight the docking boss. I have to fly this ship. The reason we're trying to do this is because the last two times that I have tried to dock this particular ship, it has exploded. Actually, that's not true. The last time it didn't explode. The two times before that, it did explode. When we tried to bring it into dock. So now we have no choice but to give it another try. That'll give me a decent opportunity to show you guys the city of Lorville, and if it goes right, then I'll take you through the city, or I'll get my vehicle impounded. No problem. No problem, officer. I'm already out of your hair. <laughs> but yeah, it's like that, Sky High, dude. It sounds like my grandma's 1985 Toyota. It probably has more similarities than you think. Wait, we gotta fly into the middle of the city here. Very slow speed in this ship. Uh, most starter ships in the game have like a top speed of 230 plus meters per second. We have a whopping 170, and that's if we're 10 kilometers at altitude. Right now we're going at a trendy, brisk 100 meters per second. So, the worst starter ship is two and a half times faster than what I've got. You could also just get impounded. True, actually, yeah. I'd be a criminal, but they'd port my- they'd just store my ship for me. <sighs> it might not be a bad idea to just get impounded on purpose. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. You just pay a 5k fine? Are we sure that it'll store the ship as it is and not make me claim it again? I say... <sighs> pretty sure you know Star Citizen. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I say we just take our chances. Because I feel, I don't know, I feel like getting impounded, something could go wrong there, too. It's uncharted territory. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I, I think there's a chance of something going wrong either way. But anyway, thanks again, Sim, for the raid. If you got uh, family to attend, got to get some food, take it easy, dude. And thanks for sending your good people over. I'll try not to blow up. And if I do... Well, I guess we'll be buying our ship tomorrow. <laughs> we are over the spaceport now.
So I feel like it's as safe a time as any to go ahead and request Please proceed to assign landing bay. a landing bay. We're very close to Hangar 6. Hangar 6 was the one we landed in before, was it not? That request has already been granted. All right, chap. That request has already been granted. All right, let's go into VTOL mode. Landing gear down. I'm going. I heard the warning. I just I just went through as fast as possible. When we go slow, we die. I don't know why. If I go through slow, I explode. If I go through fast, then it's fine. I don't know. I can't prove that there's any correlation between the two things. But we're there. We made it. You just gotta rip the band-aid off. Alright, we gotta open all the doors. And now, what we should be able to do is grab um, a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment. Okay. And be, if you're new to Star Citizen, I'm about to show you a Star Citizen moment. I can't use my tractor beam inside my ship. However, if I go out here, go, Nyeh. I hate you, tractor beam. And then re-equip it. Then go back in my ship. <laughs> you just have to... You just have to be firm with the tractor beam. Let it know its place. Don't let it overstep its boundaries. And then once it's off of the grid, then we can put, we should be able to drag it over to local inventory. There we go. Done. Don't. Don't mind the hole in the back of the, the door there. <sighs> no, I got the small box already. If the suicide burns your lucky coin, go for it. It seems to be working. That'll make it do a flip. <laughs> but yeah. We- GG's. GG's chat. The rest should be easy. Now we just have to go back to the spaceport. Uh, my boy's getting a little thirsty down here and hungry. So we're likely to see other players here. I am bald. Ever since I went to prison, I- I- I-, I like, there's actually prison in this game. Ever since I went to prison, I've been bald. I don't know why. They shaved my head and it's not growing back. How about we take a little sippy of this? Stress will do that. Why did we go to prison? Um, I accidentally ran over an NPC. And then I turned myself in. Yes, yeah, standing on chairs is the custom here for the AI. They love saving space for foot traffic. If they don't have anywhere to be, they stand on the chair so you have more room to pass. But yeah, we need to head down the stairs. Through security and customs. If you were a criminal, this is where you would turn yourself in to go to prison or pay the fine, if possible. But as you can see, I am a good law-abiding citizen and have committed no crime and I have no outstanding fines.
Okay. I feel like I kind of look like a doofus. I, I miss... Where's the rest of my armor? <laughs> I don't... I, that looks like... That's a stupid helmet, but I wear it because I can't sell it, so... It is what it is. I just want to cover up my bald head. Okay, through security, through customs. We got to take the tram, and the tram will actually take us through the city. So we're going to take the Metro Spaceport line. There's two lines here. Oh. Be considerate to your fellow oh, travelers. sneak on here with four doors. seconds left before the doors close. And we're off. Uh, you can actually change your character at any point in time. The character creator is accessible from the main menu, and you can change it for free. So you're not locked in. So don't mind the random screen glitching while the... the <clears throat> listen, the tram knows where it is at all times. But sometimes it checks inside the wall to make sure it's not inside the wall. But yeah, we're, we're in like, uh... Levston Square. And Levston Square is where we do all of our business. They have a hospital here. Right here. Welcome Maria Pure of Heart is their hospital. And we want to go in here. They got a nice, like, Deus Ex... Human Revolution plus Cyberpunk vibe in this city. Residences where you go when you, you log in, you'll appear there. And, uh... When you walk out, you've got this path, some shopping... The admin offices directly ahead in case you've got any commodities that you want to sell. There's some terminals inside there. You can sell it. We're going to, to Manny and Sons. In order to make some make some money. Other than the bugs, this game looks insanely immersive. Yes. There are many bugs, but it is very immersive when the bugs aren't when you aren't laughing at the bugs because some of them are so dumb. Some of them are so dumb they're funny. But yeah, it's super immersive. That's why it's my favorite of the space simulation games. Because I can just be a space guy doing space stuff. Wait, we got the armor shop. Yeah, when the game works, it's super fun. It's definitely one of those when it works situations. Okay, uh, I say we sell all the heavy armor and don't be greedy and we can always go do a mission to go get it before why do you prefer this over x4 space sim wise x4 is really fun but uh and i highly recommend checking it out while it's on sale it's just different something about being in a multiplayer environment makes everything that i do feel like it matters more like i can't go up to other players and ask, like, tell them my story, get a ride, and get their story. Like, part of space simulation to me is encountering other players. And X4 is an insanely fun and addictive game, but it's fun for a different reason. It's fun because it's an economy simulator or, like, a resource gathering simulator. Like, uh, you, you want to be... You want to be the owner of a station... We're like six stations and you want to corner the market on a certain type of metal and you want to become the sole manufacturer while, while also fighting off AI alien inc incursions, right? But I also can't be in a spaceship on a space station, fly from that space station to the planet's atmosphere, fly down, land on the planet, go do a mission on the surface or drive around right that's more immersive to me 
Also, having the full ship interiors that you can move through um, and inspect, it just feels more immersive than like the uniform kind of elevator that takes you to the cockpit in every X4 ship. X4 is a really fun, like, X4 is a spreadsheet simulator. This is like a space guy simulator. Like, I'm one cog in a larger 100 player server. What about No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky is space Minecraft, which this is not. Very, very different vibe. No Man's Sky is super fun, but it's space Minecraft. Which neither X4 nor Star Citizen are. But yeah, this is the only game that does that. And then Elite Dangerous is like, you are a spaceship, but you also have an expansion where you can not be a spaceship, but it's kind of like a field trip. In my opinion. Like the whole game's not designed around Elite Dangerous Odyssey. If there's Elite Dangerous, and then there's Odyssey. This is like... Cohesively... Designed around the idea of being like... A guy who can go across the entire system with no loading screens. What about EVE? EVE is like... I played EVE too. EVE is just very different. EVE is not an immersive game. <laughs> Eve is, like, on a different side of the spectrum. Eve is more of an MMO than this game, for sure. But that's also... That's like a... Like, I describe X4 as single-player Eve. Yeah, Engine Kill, it's totally a sandbox. Like, I made my own goal and my own rules with this challenge. And I get my fun out of that. So you definitely have to create your own fun in this game. Your your general moment-to-moment -moment goal is make money to buy better ship. So that's the whole loop. Make money to buy better ship in-game. That's, that's really your only goal other than have fun with your other people in space. So they all feel very different, yeah. But Eve is more focused on, like, player-driven economy. Like, player-driven economy is analogous to Eve, and none of the other space games have that. Is what I would say. Okay. I need to get on with it, chat, because I'm tired. <sighs> there's a, there's a, yeah, let's get, let's, I'm, I am tired. I'm fading. It's been 12 and a half hours. <laughs> it's 2.30. <laughs> it's 2.30. I'm selling all the armor. Time to sell the whole haul. We can go try to start collecting some armor once we have our ship. It wouldn't be bad to keep one set of gear. Like a medium set. So I want to keep at least... We got to sell these helmets individually. But the money's rolling in. The money's rolling in, dude. Did some... Hang on. Why are you tired? It's 11.35 a.m. in Italy. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in 12 hours. Chad, did I not already sell these or am I crazy? Now the whole layout's changed. I don't know what's going on. These are light helmets. They're not worth as much. Only 500. 
why can't anyone put things back where they found them? It's not my job to pick up after you. Stop complaining, bro. But yeah, let's keep... One to two sets of medium armor. So I'll just stop. Well, actually, I can't do that if I'm going to do what I'm about to do. I'm going to sell from the box. I didn't think about that. 605. We broke 600k. <laughs> yes, we did. Okay. We should be getting to the end of the helmets. Dude, we- how much- we looted a lot? We looted, um, uh, more than I thought, dude. Chat. Backseaters in chat? Relax, bros. Relax. Chill, dudes. We got the party hats on already? I can tell I want this game in the future, but not right now. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with waiting. For sure. It'll only get more developed. My problem is, I want to be able to pull stuff out of the box. I was like, I wish I could pull stuff out of the box. And chat was like, don't sell it! Don't do it! He doesn't know! We, it's all right. We got this. <laughs> Just like instant panic. Okay, we've sold every single helmet. All the helmets came out of the ship inventory into the station inventory. So what's fun here is, chat, the boxes are not even in the categories for the shop. I think I would have to do the box sell on Everest. So we're actually short by about 10,000 UEC. Because I can't even see the box in this inventory. So I think I would have to be in the Everest shop, shops to be able to see the box. Or, wait. Do I have to... I'm already looking at, um, at Lorville. It's in Lorville. With everything else. It's in local. Oh, wait, sub options? Oh, we have sub options. Okay, okay, I see it. I got it, I got it. I got it. However, which one has stuff in it? Oh? Oh? Okay, um, do we only have, it's, we have so many boxes, dude. Where's the other one? There's the other one. <sighs> okay, so, if you select the box. Damn, I'm learning how to sell things. <laughs> What's up? We just click sell. And it sells everything in the box. Is that right? I'm back. How's the grind, man? You're seeing the finale of the grind. Bust. I gotta go eat dinner soon. <laughs> Alright, let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six storage containers. If I click...
Do I really want to sell all these weapons? We can do a weapon grind after the fact. Right? We can go grind for weapons whenever we want. I can't click sell. How do you sell everything in the box at once? I thought I knew how to do it, but I, I clearly don't. Like, I can click quick sell on these. But that's kind of, that's, that's the slow way. You don't have to do it one at a time. We're gonna learn chat. Okay, so here's what you do. They were wrong. Clear the subsource and search for a box. No. They chat was wrong. Yeah, I don't think we can in this circumstance, but it's possible in some circumstances. Is is the short answer. Okay, so I'm going to keep an Inquisitor and a Dust Up. In that box. Why can't anyone put things back where they found them? It's not my job to pick up after you. <laughs> it's okay, bro. We broke 630k, chat. That's the, these are the magic numbers right here. That's the magic number. All right. I want to keep, like, since we're already above the magic number, keep a few weapons. I don't know if we need a BR2 shotgun. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. 640k. Look how much money this is. Does anyone know what we started at here? Why can't anyone put things back where they found them? It's not... I think we already saved an R97. 579. Oh, wow. So we got big time money then. I'd like to save one of each type of weapon so I can play with different weapon types. It seems like we can be greedy because I got 652. Started with zero 10 days ago. It's true. <laughs> so we just made a cool 70k on that, which is equivalent to doing two more of the missions we were doing. All right, gamers, let's do what we came here to do. 652,155. Everybody say goodbye to the Argo Cargo. We're going to spend all of our money. <laughs> We're going to go back to zero. I love that this is the zero to hero. As soon as I make enough money to spend, I spend all of it. And that's the secret zero to hero. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, bro. Two seconds on the clock. Zero to zero to zero to zero to zero. <laughs> you, sp you do spend money to make money. Oh, I'm tired, but I'm here. I'm tired, but I'm excited at the same time. 
We just gotta, we just gotta inch over the finish line here. I just double check the video if you want to see it. I'll look it up um, tomorrow. It's too late. We got, we got, a, we got enough on our plate. We got too much excitement right now. You can only do the sell the crate thing. Yeah, I don't want to sell the crate. I heard that there was a way to sell everything in the crate without selling the crate. But it's okay. We got we got the money. And now we're about to lose the money, chat. Super Omega Yup Time ship purchase. Welcome Do we to want to take a second just to make sure that's exactly what we want? Please visit us again. Do we want to take just a moment to make sure that that's exactly what we Hello. want for sure before we dump everything? Okay, let's take a look at the list. Chat, you're about to get a flashbang. This is a white scream. And there's nothing you can do about it. Three, two, one, boop. By the way, Uzus, thank you for the 31 months of sub. 31 months, dude. <laughs> Ow. All right, Here, we're at New Deal. You could just buy... A, think about how many ground vehicles we could buy with this much money. We could buy a hover quad, a mule. We could buy a second rock, an X1, a tumbrel. We could get an Ursa. We could buy a... We could ride in style with a Lynx. We could buy a Great Cat Rock DS. Okay, none of these are ships. This is what we have right there. That's my ship. The cheapest one, unless you go all the way to Astro Armada... Then you could have gotten a P-52 Merlin. But the P-52 Merlin wouldn't have held two SCU in the back, which we actually used today. We did use it. We used the storage in the Argo Cargo to make an extra, like, 150 to 200k today. Didn't we? Including the internal ship storage. But yeah, the Pisces is a great ship. The Pisces Rescue is a great ship. Those are both great ships. These are the only, like, other two options in Astro Armada. And then up here... The only other option is... If you go MPUV Cargo, then... We didn't get the personnel, obviously. It'd be an Aurora ES for 423k, which I don't think is a better deal than just spending an extra 200k and getting a cutter. Which is kind of where we're at. I think that is the 85X a snub? I think it's a snub that doesn't have quantum. And then you also could just get a Mustang Alpha or Beta, or you could save up another 50K and get an Aurora MR, but I'd honestly rather have a cutter than an Aurora. It's funny that the Aurora is more expensive in the game, but the cutter is more expensive in real life. The 85X does have quantum. Why did none of these pictures just show me what the ship actually looks like? I mean, it's a it's a cute two-seater, I guess, but no storage, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't really think I would get this but it is cleaner and I don't think it's worth getting the scout or the rambler and then everything else we might want is more expensive like twice over the Titans over twice as expensive the nomad is like two and a half times more expensive actual decent combat ships are more expensive so it's pretty much this or bust you know what I'd love a Tana 
I just don't think a Tana has anywhere to go in a zero to hero run. How would I make that two million back off a of Tana? Probably don't. You just don't. You just buy it because you love it. I don't think it has a spawn as zero to hero. Okay. I think we have to go with what our heart tells us. And do what we've been planning on this whole time, because I think really the only other options are the Pisces. And we did just do a bunch of first person shooter gameplay in the rest. So the rescue is kind of out. Yeah, the core is still really expensive. The Reliant Core is only 270k cheaper than the Tana. Tana's too close to a Vulture. Yeah, it is. Okay, I think it's either Cutter or Pisces, and I think we've already said Cutter makes more sense because PTV. All right, gamers. I don't know why it's haunted in here. Okay, they turned the lights on for me. It's some of those, like, people detecting lights. It's haunted. <laughs> Step on up to the terminal. Step on up and abandon this mission. You sure you don't want a Mustang Alpha, chat? Are you positive you don't want a Mustang Alpha with a cockpit? You sure you don't want an anti-air tumbrel cyclone with the wheels baked into the vehicle? Or an RSI Aurora ES that we should have bought <laughs> instead <laughs> of the Argo Cargo. <laughs> okay, all right. You've had enough teasing. Let's go get our first Drake ship. Bro, I want a mule so bad, but it doesn't fit. Um, The mule... The mule does fit. The mule fits in the cutter. We could buy a mule. I believe it does fit. Yeah. Okay, so we can definitely buy a mule then. That's going to be one of the things I get. Dude, the cutter has so much versatility. There she is. She's a beaut. 17k left. Drake cutter. Lock it in! Your Drake Cutter is being transferred now. That is a Buccaneer. I have actually scammed the dealership and received a ship that is almost two and a half times as expensive as the one that I wanted to buy. I guess we're bounty hunters now. Just kidding. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we're Cutter owners. Congrats on the ship. You actually did it, you mad lad. Now we gotta look at it. Now we gotta take a look. Hey, everybody. I just bought my very first starter ship, and I wanted you all to know about it. I've been driving an Argo Cargo this whole time. Can't believe they even sell that package. Doesn't even have Quantum. But I'm now a proud Cutter owner, and I just wanted to share that with the world. Welcome. There's to actually the a player the there. <laughs> the Drake Cutter stored in Lorville. Let's go. Your vehicle has been delivered. Please visit us again. That's a player. <laughs> Hangar 9. Let's go. Hangar 9. All right. The one and only. I'm just going to go up to everyone and be like, did you know I just bought a cutter? <laughs> I just wanted you to know, I'm a proud cutter owner.
<laughs> Time for the grand ship unveiling. From hospital gowns to real spaceship. Here she is, chat. At last. <laughs> We have a real ship. It's a gorgeous one, too. Our space minivan, it even has guns on it. <laughs> That's some real VTOL, okay? Not the fake MPUV cargo VTOL. Look at those tubes. It's got the vacuum tube that you have to pull out so that you can get the hard to reach places with all the attachments. It's got the little fins in the back. But most importantly, it's got a whole cliffhanger that's gonna make chat wait to see the inside of it and fly this bad boy around until the stream starts tomorrow because we just crossed the 13 hour mark. And I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> so you'll have to come back then. Okay, because it's 3 a.m., bros. <laughs> did we just buy this? We did just buy this, yes. We did just buy this. I don't know what the thumbnail's gonna be. It can't be the cutter, because we didn't buy this until the very end. The cutter has to be the thumbnail for tomorrow's stream. But yeah, we got a ship. Chad, if you want to see, if you want to get the tour and get the first flight, you'll have to come back, because I'm, I'm tired. I'm excited, but I'm tired. <laughs> no! Make the thumbnail an explosion. I didn't take any screenshots today. Did I? I took one. We took that one. I probably just... I don't know. I feel like that's similar to the screenshot from yesterday, though. I got, I got like, a cool ship shot. We got a cloud shot. I don't know. I have to, uh, too many with the same, same stuff. All right. It's 3 a.m. I got to go eat. The dog's hungry, too. Okay? He needs to drink. Screenshot a clip of one of the dead body piles from the distro. Maybe, yeah. I'll just try to find that in the VOD. For the thumbnail. I've been actually trying to help VOD watchers out. Look at this, chat. Look at this. You guys have actual, like, part... 1 through 10, so you know which which one you were on. Yeah, this one's got a guy with a gun at a distribution center. We've got a bunch of... If you want to see... If you just joined this recently and you want to see what's been going on, just go, like, clips of the last 30 days and just watch all the Star Citizen ones. Because we've I've been featuring a bunch of these clips. Oh, wait, you can't see what I'm doing? Yeah, it's this this guy right here. Videos, filter, find clips, and then you get like a choice of, of how many days. <clears throat> Just you, you can catch up on all the important bits from our Star Citizen campaign. What's the top clip of the last 24 hours, chat? Where's the elevator screen? Don't worry about it. Okay, well now it's a problem. <laughs> what about these? Okay. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I guess, hang on, all right. Does this still work? Oh no, dude. Uh-oh. That's not good, man. Oh no, I'm stuck inside!
I what? Yep, and then I yelled for help and somebody responded to me yelling for help. Another player heard me, me yelling for help. Yep, I said that. Another Hold on. <laughs> who, who, do they, who do they just blow up? <laughs> Good times. Good times. Yeah, there's some good there's some good clips in there if you've been missing the ones from the last 10 days. Anyways, we just got a ship chat, but uh, we're going to have to get the tour. We're going to have to take the tour tomorrow. Um I'm going to go store it because I'm afraid of leaving it here. I haven't eaten in 13 hours. I'm very hungry, and I think I need a, I need a fresh fresh energy to actually get to take this on its maiden voyage. They seem to have missed some shit. Yeah, you'll see how much you've missed. If you go check out the clips. I'd love to have some YouTube edits for you guys, but I don't have an editor. And I kind of put out like a tweet about an editor. And it was Welcome mostly a bunch of sort of... There were a lot of bots that responded to my call for an artist on Twitter. Please visit us again. So, the search continues for now. The search continues. Alright, GG everybody. We bought the ship, we're poor. We're, we're broke again. <laughs> and tomorrow we get to figure out how the cutter works and what to do with it. Thanks again raiders who stuck around from earlier raids. Uh, Avenger 1 was here at the beginning of stream, and, uh, EJ was here, Sim was here, appreciate all you guys, and your respective streamers. Super nice. Sending everybody my way, and thanks for those of you who are hanging out, uh, toss a follow on your way out the door, okay? You might notice while you were here, you didn't see a single mid-roll ad, you're welcome. Non-subs, okay. All I ask, hit that follow button, come check out the next stream. I'll be live again at, um, I don't know. I want to say 2 p.m. Pacific, but it's, you know, it's going to be 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific. I got to take a, take a shower. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep, like, for the next hour, because I got to eat. And you, it's not good to go to bed right on a full stomach. You know what I mean? You don't want to, like, eat, slam your stomach, and then, like, lie down. That's how you get heartburn. I'd love to do editor stuff, but I don't have a decent portfolio. Well, I don't need somebody that's, like, a professional... But I need somebody who's got, like... I need to see prior work from people. For sh like at the very least, whether it be art for emotes, uh, I'm looking for emote artists. I'm looking for channel badge artists. I'm looking for a YouTube editor, possibly. See, I need to see. I need to see prior stuff for sure. From people being bros, Elisid. Take it easy. First time chatters. <laughs> I have never done that before. I'll be a perfect fit. <laughs> it's easy, dude. All right, chat. I'm going to send you guys on an end of stream adventure. Bye, everyone. Have a nice rest of your day. Star Mage. Ah, uh, yeah. You too, guys. I'll see you guys in 12 hours or less. How about that? 11 to 12 hours.
All right, let's go raid someone we never raided before. And maybe someone you've never seen before. All right, I'll go. Since we were doing Star Citizen, let's raid somebody in the Star Citizen directory. There's some cool uh, German and French streamers. Some Deutsch streamers, but I feel like we should probably go English. There's Japanese streamers. All sorts of streamers, dude. But let's go, uh, let's go say what's up. Uh, somebody I haven't watched before, I want to check out. Let's check out together, all right? Let's go give them a nice welcome. Um, you guys are awesome. So go be awesome to them and introduce yourselves warmly and kindly and maybe find a new content creator you like. So let's go say what's up to Expat Brat, who <clears throat> their tags are um, Live Machinima and Cinematic Music. I'm very intrigued by the... I think they have an emphasis on cool camera angles, which I am a big fan of. So uh, let's go check them out, all right? Go give a nice strong raid, say what's up, and if you like what you see, maybe toss them a follow, okay? All right. Let's go over and say hi. Good night for now, everybody. And I'll see you again soon. I'm, I'm going to be with you, but then I'm going to grab some food and be lurking, all right? Good night.